Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video let's talk a little bit about approaching in a heavy 737 at a warm airfield. So we're currently flying to Maza Alam in the 737-800, full with 184 holiday makers, all of whom are carrying 13 kilos bags, which results in a landing weight of 63.9 tons. Now, that's quite a heavy weight for the 737. We have already decided we're going to use flaps 40 on this one, but let's for a moment talk about the energy management. So at roughly 64 tons, you're definitely sitting in a very heavy Boeing 737. Now, VNAF is of course taking account for the weight and adjusts the path accordingly, but what if we add some hot temperatures in? So if we are doing a typical holiday flight like we are doing right now, on the progress page number two, you can find the deviation from the standard temperature. So right now, the air around us is 23 degrees warmer than under ICAO standard atmosphere conditions. In fact, the temperature at our landing aerodrome is uh, 34 degrees centigrade. Now, as uh, you can easily imagine, warm air is expanding so when we are showing 7500 feet on the altimeter our true altitude is actually quite a bit higher than this microsoft flux simulator is taking account of this so we are going to see easily that we will come in a little bit steeper than usual now i've done a video on uh, hot and high approaches in the past already with the 737 700 so if you haven't done so yet i would very much recommend you to have a look at it however in the 700 it's quite a bit easier to do these approaches than in the 800 and that's because you simply have less energy so the 64 tons of landing weight that we're having here right now are probably something like a takeoff weight on a flight like this in the 700 not to talk about the 600 even so you'll see that in the 737 800 energy management is more of a thing and for that if you have conditions like we have right now zero wind then the VNAV system should be very well capable of getting us down. However, you need to take into account that your aircraft is um, easily deviating from the standard approach path because the 737-800 just is the most slippery of the 737-NG series. So be very careful that you stay right on top of the approach. Let's select the altitude down. Our next altitude is going to be 3,000 feet. To make things a little bit more complicated, we are flying an RNAV approach on this one and not a standard ILS approach. Now, all of that said and done, let's um, sit here for now watching the airplane. And uh, you can already notice that we are slightly deviating to a higher speed than what we are um, planned to have by Vina. So right now, we're about 10 knots faster. So. I'll use a little bit of a speed break here to get our plane down. Now, let's monitor how things are developing. So you can see, even with a full speed brake, it is very, very hard for us to lose the speed. So actually at this moment, we have no further choice but to extend the flaps into the first position. Let's get our altitude down 2000 feet. That's the altitude for the final approach fix. And then we'll go straight away into flap 5. So on some occasions like this, where the aircraft is reverting into VNAV speed, we'll actually carefully have to make sure that we are um, staying close to the desired glide path. So maybe consider going speed in event and um, 
force your aircraft back down into the path like this. Now we are just passing the um, intermediate approach fix. The aircraft, or rather the VNAV system, has now transitioned into approach logic. So VNAV path is now always going to stay the active mode. However, be aware that we are still um, rather fast, so but we've just passed the 10 mile marker, 200 knots ground speed, so we are more or less getting back on the path now. But you can see how the speed brake is very ineffective in the 737s, and situations that may be manageable in the 737 600 or the 700 can very easily become out of hand in the 737 800. You've seen how much of a struggle we've just had getting that airplane to decelerate, and that's while VNAV was even aware of what's going on, and we flew the exact VNAV path. But the moment some wind gusts are kicking in, the airplane can very easily run away from you, and you'll have to actively manage that in order to get your airplane under proper control here. We're approaching descent here. 700 feet, VNAV path and speed intervent. The other thing you'll notice is that in flaps 5, we're looking at a reference speed for the flaps 5 of 170 knots. So we're shooting the approach at 180 knots ground speed right now, and that gives us almost a thousand feet per minute vertical speed. Now, at that vertical speed, of course, it's even more difficult to decelerate the airplane properly. Right, reaching the four miles, gear down, flap 15. Approaching the white band, let's set our missed approach altitude of 5,000 feet. Let's set, flap 25. And flaps 40. Alright, so here we are established on the final approach. And you can see how hard it actually was to decelerate that airplane and to get the airplane under a full control here. Now, auto throttle is struggling a little, a little bit as well, so let's help it manually here. So, 500 to continue, but barely just checked. Continue. And here we are. Speed break up for us as normal. Eighty three percent. Manual brakes. Auto brake disarm. Right, so welcome to Mars Alam, everyone. I hope you learned something from this video. If there is one lesson that you should be taking away from today, then that is keep your energy under a very, very good control. Even when you're under VNAV, 
the slightest wind gusts can make it very, very hard to get the airplane decelerated. You've just seen it. We've been 100% on energy, and the moment some wind kicked in, it became very, very difficult to actually uh, keep our airplane under good control. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you will take this serious when flying your 737-800s. If not, please watch my go-around video next to be sure to learn the proper go-around procedure. So, if you enjoyed the videos, I always appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me A Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. And otherwise, I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one. Let me know what you think of the 800's flight characteristics in the comments below. Consider leaving a like and a subscription to the channel. And I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next video.